for the next video on solved problem on IV characteristics of long channel mass transistor which was asked in the recent GATE 2021 EC question paper. The problem says that for the transistor M1 in the circuit shown in the figure, the mu and C aux is 100 microamps per volt square and the W by L ratio is 10 where mu n is the mobility of electron, C aux oxide capacitance per unit area, W is the width and L is the length. So which means all these parameters they have just given the details. The channel length modulation coefficient is ignored. So that is the reason I have given it as a long channel transistor where all the short channel effects, especially the channel length modulation effect is completely ignored. So here if the gate or source voltage VGS is given as 1 volt to keep the transistor at the edge of saturation which means the transistor M1 has entered the saturation. So we know the condition for this transistor to enter at the edge of saturation which is going to be VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. So if it is going to be less than VGS minus VT then this transistor M1 would not have been in saturation instead it would have been in this linear region. So all the regions of operation of NMOS transistor is explained in a separate video. The video link is shared in the description box below and in the i button. So now what we need to understand is we need to estimate the threshold voltage of this transistor M1. From the given MOS transistor, which means we have an NMOS along with a resistive load, we can write the rate of source current equation here as IDS is equal to VDD minus V out by R. So this we can write because we have a potential drop here and the passage of drain to source current is also going to be there across this. So therefore we can write it as VDD minus V out by R as the drain to source current that is going to pass through this M1 transistor. So now we know certain values. We will just start substituting that. VDD is given as 3 volts. So it is going to be 3 minus V out. It is an unknown factor. Divided by R is given as 20 kilo ohms. So it is going to be 10 to the power 3 ohms. Therefore, the unknown parameter V out is going to be 3 volt minus IDS into 20 kilo ohms. This we can rewrite it as 3 volt and this if you are going to obtain this IDS in terms of milliamps and the resistance is going to be in kilo ohms then 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power minus 3 gets cancelled. Therefore, my V out is going to be equal to 3 minus 20 IDS. So, ignoring all the units, the final output voltage expression is written now. And from the given problem, we have clearly understood that M1 is at the edge of saturation region and the channel length modulation effect, CLM effect, is also ignored. So, therefore, we can write the transistor M1 to operate in saturation region, the voltage condition will definitely be VDS to be equal to VGS minus VT because at the edge of saturation region, so it is going to be the onset voltage value because once if the transistor is meeting out VDS to be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, only then it will enter into saturation region. Since the problem says that it is at the edge of the saturation region, we have considered VDS is equal to VGS minus the threshold voltage VT. And for NMOS transistor, we know that the drain is going to be the output and source is going to be connected to the ground value which is zero. So therefore VDS it is nothing but V out, the output drain terminal, which becomes equivalent to VGS minus VT. So therefore, the previous equation which we have written as V out is equal to 3 minus 20 ideas can now be equated to 
VGS minus VT is equivalent to 3 minus 20 IDS because there also we have equated with respect to output voltage and here also it is with respect to the output voltage. So we have equated both the equation. So therefore it becomes as VGS minus VT is equal to 3 minus 20 into IDS and also we know one more parameter which is IDS at saturation region is going to be beta n by 2 into VGS minus VT the whole square for NMOS transistor in saturation region. As we know that beta the process transconductance parameter ratio is going to be mu n C ox into W by L and all these parameters are given in the problem statement. After substituting the values, let me write the ideas in terms of milliamps. So therefore, this will become 100 by 2 is going to be 50 into 10, 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. But I have to write it in terms of milliamps. So this will become as 0.5 into 1 minus Vt the whole square. So now we know this ideas and we have a separate equation from the previous observation where we have an equation which was VGS minus VT which was equal to 3 minus 20 into ideas. So now we know what is VGS. VGS is 1. So this is going to be 1 minus VT is equal to 3 minus 20 into ideas we know that it is 0.5 so 0.5 into 1 minus vt the whole square so 20 by 2 is going to be 10 so therefore it is 1 minus vt is equal to 3 minus 10 into 1 minus vt the whole square so let us now bring all the threshold voltage terms together at one side equating to zero. Now when we try to bring all the Vt terms together at one side, we'll be having 10 Vt square minus 21 Vt plus 8 equal to zero. And this equation is going to resemble to Ax square plus Bx plus C. So therefore solving this quadratic equation, the solution x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and from here I can understand that a is equal to 10 and b is equal to minus 21 and c is equal to 8. Substituting the corresponding a and bc values in the equation we can obtain the threshold voltage vt to be equal to plus 21 plus or minus root of 121 we'll be having that divided by 20 so this if we try to cut down we'll be having plus 21 root of 121 is going to be 11 by 20 so therefore we'll be having again two possible solutions one is 21 plus 11 by 20 which is going to be 32 by 20, which will be equal into 1.6 volts. And the other value is going to be 21 minus 11 by 20, which is equal to 10 by 20, equal to 1 by 2, which is equal to 0.5. So always the threshold voltage we need to choose properly because here one is 1.6 volt and the other one is the 0.5 volt. So here if we take the threshold voltage as 0.5 volt, we should understand that in the given question that a transistor was operating in the saturation region and the VGS value was also given as 1 volt. Only when VGS is greater than VT, the transistor will enter into either linear or saturation region. So here for our example, it is given as saturation region. So therefore, it is for sure that this Vt should be lesser than the VGS. So if you are choosing Vt to be 1.6 volt, this will be definitely greater than VGS as 1 volt. 
right so then it is going to be vg is less than vt then it should be in cut off region but the problem statement has clearly stated that the transistor is operating in saturation region so for this condition to be satisfied we need to choose the threshold voltage to be 0.5 volt i hope that this video would have been interesting as we have discussed the current year gate question paper related to mass transistors iv characteristics we will try to explore some more problems related to mass transistor in the future videos if you want to have a clear understanding on the basics of mass transistor regions of operation and if you have to explore other gate problems on mass transistor all the video links are shared in the description box below catch you all soon with another interesting video until then stay safe thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel